Daniel Ibrahim, Max Planck Institute for Molecular Genetics. Disruption of 3D genome architecture by structural variations. Hi. Uh, I would like to remind you that in each of your nuclei you have um, two meters of DNA. And these two meters are not just crammed in there at random, but for a long time we've known that, for example, each chromosome occupies its own space, so the so-called chromosome territory. Though, usually, if we look at the genome, we think about the genome as linear with gene one, two, three in a row. Whereas in the nucleus, it's more and more clear that each gene has its own little environment where one or more genes are all together with the um, enhancers and regulatory elements that regulate this. And in data, they look like this. Uh, this has been identified in the last 10 years or so, uh, five, 10 years or so. These are called TADs. And we study rare diseases and look at patients that carry structural variations, such as duplications. And some have a large part of non-coding DNA duplicated, and they have XX sex reversal, meaning they're male, although they have two X chromosomes. But then other patients are, have duplicated also overlapping duplications, and they're healthy. And to complicate things even more, a third kind of patients have even larger duplications, and they don't have any sex uh, malformation, uh, sex development malformation, but they're missing the terminal phalange and only the, uh, the fingernails. And we could see with TADS that these duplications differ in which parts of the genome you duplicate, meaning that some duplicate only parts within the TAD, whereas others duplicate parts of one TAD and the other TAD. And now you see that the two left duplications differ only by including a gene or not. And if you duplicate this, you misexpress this potassium channel, KCNJ2 actually, um, and cause the disease with the fingernails. So all together, what we see is by looking at structural variations, and we have heard this from Tumor before, is that um, by rearranging large parts of the genome, you rearrange the 3D structure of the genome and can create new compartments, can combine new compartments, and so on and so forth. So structural variations rearrange the 3D architecture of the genome, and gene misregulation, in fact, is a major me mechanism causing disease and not the gene mutated itself. And as I said, for personalized genomics um, in rare disease patients and in tumors, structural variations in tumors, we think this is important. Thank you.